Hello. Feels like the middle of autumn at the moment. And I am walking on the Chateau Road. I've just passed the first neighbour. And it's half past eight in the evening. And I'm just, didn't just fancy going out for a walk. I'll stop so the camera doesn't wobble. I've lost the dog. He's been gone about six, seven hours now. And I've walked all the way down the road. As you know, we don't have neighbors for like a kilometer or so. And he's nowhere to be seen. And I just, I don't even know where to get started. Why am I looking on foot? Because I'm on my own. And I've been hiding this fact for three weeks now. And Julian and the girls are in England. And I didn't really want to say that I was on my own. So it was another reason why we were taking two weeks off because then hopefully we would be able to return. It's a big long story, but yeah, I've lost the dog. So I'm gonna carry on walking, carry on searching, but I can't do much on foot. And if he's not back by tomorrow morning, and I'll try and call in some help for some neighbours. But it could be long gone or snatched or anything by then. Let's carry on. It's one of those things that what do you do in a crisis? You make a cup of tea. What do I do in a crisis? I film a vlog. He's, he's never gone. He, he has gone for once or twice for like half an hour or so. We've managed to get him back. But we've always had a car and... Since Julian's been away, I've given him a bit more freedom. I've not just let him roam around. Um, but we always, we always tend to put him, well, not always, but a lot of the time we tend to put him on a leash. And, sorry if there's a background noise, that's the waterfall now. We're just coming up to the edge of our land. So you can see, this, is where our land starts. That's not our telephone number, by the way. We need to change the signage. And then our waterfall is just on the edge of our land here. As I was saying, he just... His Vimaranas are really immature dogs. And he is eight now. And he's never really grown up. So a lot of the time we keep him on a leash. But since we've got all this land... We, we just walk him in his bios and it's fine and sometimes he goes a little further than he should and we whistle him back and he's got a mind of his own but he does come back and with Julian going away I, uh, I've been giving him a bit more freedom I've not been putting him on the lead he's been helping me put the chickens away getting them up in the morning um, he has four walks a day and we mix it up and when I've been sat on the terrace, he's been out with me. Just today, I just couldn't get him back in the house. He was just literally outside the kitchen terrace and he had this massive wood log in his mouth and I thought, fine. And I had left the kitchen door open, came back five minutes later to say, come on now and be quite stern with him. And he'd gone, he'd gone. I thought, well, he's done this before. 20 minutes or so, we'll be back. Anyway, wish me luck. Morning, everyone. Well, it's the morning after yesterday when I shot the first footage saying that um, Shadow was missing. And I've just come outside now because I heard a dog bark. And it's just the local chasse. So they're right, you can hear them quite um, quite clearly, but they're actually right on top of the hill. Um, but um, no sign of shadow yet. So we're putting a message out on Facebook, on the local Facebook pages. But I just think either someone's got him now. Um, or he could be injured somewhere, and I just... I just don't know where to start. There's a hundred different directions he could have gone. 
And he could be miles away in any one of those hundred directions. I've told Julian now. I told him last night. And he's trying to be upbeat about it. Saying he'll return. But when, when he didn't return this morning and I've told him, he's obviously worried now like me. But there's not much more we can do. I'll be going out, um, searching in another direction in a moment, just walking on foot and just shouting and seeing if I can hear him because if he's stuck somewhere or... It's, uh, it's a long shot, but we've got to do it. OK, so we are going to go and look up the old Chateau Road and just call out for him. There's not a lot more I can do. Um, and I don't want to venture too far because... If he comes back and I'm not here and I miss him again. Um, so we're just going to give this a go. This is not really the way that I wanted to show you um, the sort of Chateau Road. That, so down there, you've seen that view before. That's going to um, the Chateau Road, um, Chemin de la Couture, which we call uh, our main road now. And that leads into the village. And then we have sort of two pathways, which are the old Chateau Road. And you've seen this before. This is where we've got some of our old trees. Okay, so we may have good news. I was just about to walk down the shadow, uh, the shadow, <laughs> shadow on the brain, Chateau Road, uh, the old Chateau Road, trying to look for him. And gosh, chance, just a chance. And so I was walking away from where I get an internet signal here. Um, on my mobile phone, um, just filming that I was about to go start down, going down the chateau, uh, the chateau old Chateau Road. Um, and Isabel, one of our friends in the village, who's put a call out on Facebook, called me um, and said a Vimarana had been found in Lille under Dong, which is about seven kilometres from here. And um, can I identify um, what's on his collar? So I sent back what was on his collar. Um, and she's come back and said, is there any other identifying factors as well? Um, so we told him about, uh, told them what uh, his stitches in his leg and other things. Um, and they do think it's shadow. So I'm just waiting now for Isabel's husband, because um, she's away at the moment. She's been doing this remotely at family in the Gers. <sighs> just fingers crossed that it's him. So I've just been scrabbling to get, uh, together, getting some free range eggs and some vegetables and a bottle of wine and everything else to, uh, to give to whoever this French family is who's had the dog, just with the hope that it is Shadow and just to say thank you so much. We <laughs> so we are just coming into the outskirts of Lille now. Uh, mon ami JC, uh, my friend JC, the husband of Isabelle who we believe has found Touvé Le Chien um, has come to collect me and we are now heading into Lille on the search for the house um, where Shadow is. I have my bag of goodies, Mon Cado, to give to the people to say thank you so much for looking after Shadow. So in there is a bottle of wine, tomat de zerf, um, etc. Sorry, I'm at that point now where my language, I keep crossing between French and English. Um, I've been doing it a lot the last few weeks since the only people I've really been speaking to are French people. Um, but we'll keep you updated. Madame, je suis pas encore au chemin de Nicole. Bonjour, savoir si c'est Shadow. Eh? Je veux savoir si c'est Shadow ou pas. Allez, alors, là, on prend le chemin de Nicole. Le chemin de Nicole. Après? Oui. Je sais pas, je vous amende, il faut monter. À partir du moment où il y a le petit panneau au chemin de Nicole, c'est la deuxième sur la droite. Bon. Comment elle s'appelle C'est les Anglais ou quoi Non, je crois pas. Désolée, mais je crois pas. Elle a moins d'accent que Léane. Mais tu l'as eu au téléphone Oui, bah oui, bien sûr. Bon, moi je vois pas de vignes là. Est-ce que tu vois une chalambois Non. I don't know. Sur la droite, deuxième maison à droite. Mais je suis à la seconde maison, il y a une maison. Euh... C'est. Mm. Ah, il y a une chine qui aboie. 
Non, mais c'est pas lui. Non. Non, mais il y a personne là, dans le pâté de la maison là Eh bien non, moi personne. Je vais voir, je vais aller voir. Mais quel est le nom Quel est le nom James. C'est ça Oui, Christelle James. Je vais le mettre. Ok, so we're just looking now to see if this is. <laughs> je suis là. <laughs> je, je suis avec Chloé, je suis chez mes parents. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Voilà. Is it a, um, a, je suis um, à demander de la de la femme um, dehors. Et là? Oui. Ici? Non. non. Okay. On s'est trompé le chemin. Il y a deux chemins de Vicon. Oh. Ah. Au pied de chez Total, tu montes. Tu mais oui, mais on est, on est. There on are apparently there je, are two je, chemins je, de Vicon. Je suis tombé <laughs> sur la belle sœur de la femme. Again, it's like Et quand t'as un premier chemin de micro, t'en as un second. Another episode of Challenge Annika here. I could have never have done this on my own. Merci. Beautiful. C'est Marc qui garde les chiens? Oui. C'est Marc qui garde le chien. Oh, okay. So, just being told that this um, shaman, this um, road is also shaman de Mikon. We're looking for the, the deuxième maison. La deuxième maison à droite. Oui. Voilà le petit voilà. chalet. Voilà. Mm. doit être là. Et le vigne chalambois. Oui. Oui. Vigne. C'est là. La, la, la grappe, la maison. Oui, ok, so we think we're here. Oui. Oui. Ah, yes, they are. Il est ouvert le, le, les portes. Le, le Et le voilà là-bas. Oui. C'est pas celui-là Oui. Ah, non, c'est beaucoup de chiens. Ah bon Beaucoup de chiens. Oh putain. Une maison de chiens. Mais des petits chiens, m'a dit Oui, beaucoup de petits chiens. Et lui, ils l'ont mis dans un parc. Ah. Oui. D'accord, okay. il y a le bois là-bas, on va aller voir. Ok, merci Isabelle, we will go and... Gardez le téléphone ouvert. Oui, 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 oui ok. Oui. <rire> Je vais aller voir ça. Oui, oui, oui. Ok, donc on est arrivé ici. Oui. Ah, 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 oui. Um, the lady in Lilan Dodon, um, her house, which had nicknamed La Maison de la Chien, or La Maison du Chien, I should say, because she had about eight dogs. And immediately going around the back of her house, she had Shadow there, he was there in a kennel. And uh, because obviously she didn't know who would escape or not, and her about seven or eight dogs was running around. And before I even saw him, I heard him barking and like when um, a mum knows when her baby is crying and you recognise the cry, recognise the bark, I knew it was Shadow straight away. Look at the smile on her face, she can't stop smiling, I'm so happy. Um, so I was going to walk down the old Chateau Road and um, try and find Shadow and uh, that's what, what I was about to do before I heard that we'd, uh, we'd discovered him on Facebook so I want to put a message out. Um, so now I'm walking him this afternoon and we are walking down the old Chateau Road together instead of me trying to search out and call for him. Um, so I'll just show you where I am and yeah, it's a happy ending. So there in the distance, you can just see a gate there. That is the gate to the orchard on the right hand side. And then the Chateau is about 300 meters to the left behind all of these trees and where we are now this is the old chateau road and this is the old chateau domain so it's about 16 hectares at this side and this here down the center of these two really large fields is the old chateau road so you can see it's actually not a proper road now um, 
And here is the dog. Say hello, Shadow. He's very happy because he has his lump of wood that he's been eating for weeks and weeks and weeks now. And I'm just so happy. But we've learned our lesson, Shadow, haven't we? I'm not going to let you be outside alone and not leave you thinking you'll get bored and come to the back door in five minutes because you won't, will you? You'll take that as a sign that mum's telling you, OK, you go and have an adventure because that's what you had. But he hent we, we spoke to the lady um, and what happened was he, he went missing, as I said, about one o'clock um, on the Saturday in the afternoon and he um, turned up in Lille. Apparently she saw him at two o'clock in the afternoon. So he'd managed to do that seven, eight kilometers um, and gone in one direction in just an hour. So he was determined. I don't know what led him that direction, but he did. Are you happy now, Shadow, aren't you? Yep, yeah. happy boy. And so is mummy.